What are we doing? Oh, I don't know. The adventure continues. I was, I don't know. Is it researching? It's not because it's anyway. I was looking on the internet at finding a truck to replace the truck that doesn't really work <laughs> anymore. Well, anyway, I only bought the truck for the crane if no one else has got that memo. Anyway, and there, this bloke, he's got this truck. It's half the price of every other truck I've seen online. So I thought I'd better come and have a look. But, you know, I'm assuming, my son tells me, that the reason it's half price is because it's half as good. So we'll find out. Adventure continues. <laughs> oh, here we are in the market gardens. Oh, I don't know. I hope that one in that cupboard. Jeepers. <laughs> that trailer looks good, but anyway, well, we'll go and have a look. How come there's never a number on the place that you actually meant to stop at? I think I was getting myself all excited, but I reckon we're on the wrong side of the road. This truck looks pretty good, but I don't think it's the one we're looking at. So I think we might have to go across, across the track. But anyway. I say to you I'm not full of too much confidence. She's not sure she can get the truck started. <laughs> Maybe we'll just go and have a coffee. <laughs> Nobody tell the wife, right? <laughs> I guess that's quicker than a wheelbarrow, isn't it? Backwards and forwards, but hell. Do you reckon I could justify getting one of those toys just so I could whiz around like that? That'd be fun. <laughs> I think he might need a bigger, bigger bucket. <laughs> He's going backwards and forwards a fair while. Uh, anyway, I guess it's better than a wheelbarrow. Still. It's full of metal because he was going to take it to the dumper and like the ah, yes. to the metal place. Yep, yep. But it didn't quite make it. Well, he's waiting to fill it up. It's full, but we still had a bit more. So, you know, he's a procrastinator as uh, well. Ah, he's got some other stuff happening. The big keeper was saying from two worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, it's been very ordinary. Very ordinary indeed. But anyway, that's what happens. It's agriculture. Yeah. <laughs> if it doesn't rain, it doesn't, there's not much nectar. Yeah. There's a bit of bud out there, so hopefully they'll bud up and we'll get some sap, you know, some nectar flow, but who knows? Oh dear. This is got a flash toolbox. Oh, fuck. <laughs> In better condition than the last one. Yeah, true. That wouldn't be real hard though, would it? At least the door opens. It's got a fuel tank. <laughs> I think your mother's going to kill me. Fuck. <laughs> so it's the same length, I think. Same length as that little truck. But I think this tray will be a bit sad. No, no, they're probably they're, flat. I'd say they'd be a bit sad. Yeah. Just a matter of making sure we hook it to the right terminal screen that it's a 24 volt. Tell me not to do it. At least the roof's still here. I don't know. Do you reckon we could wash it? <laughs> Should we see if we can get it to go? Yeah. I've got that right. Looks like it's right. Not that that's actually green anyway. I don't think there's anything happening. 
the lights come on. It's alright, it's got a tick up there. the go and it should just go I think but I do you. unless it's got to go further you're all right Jim. it's all good Looks like it's got another another safety hook ah there we are there we are oh hey Tom how are we going why doesn't that one come off um, why not? <laughs> Probably hasn't been off for a bit, yeah. I reckon, because it's usually only fill up the other part. Yeah. Now, I don't suppose we could have a have a crack at starting it up. Is that a bit flat? Yeah, well, I reckon the, the batteries are flat. I think the jumper deal's got the black window, so I don't think that wants to be in it either, so... Um, I might push that back down. <laughs> nope, hang on, I can't do that. I've got to do that. I've got to do the safety thing we did. Wait, wait, wait. I'll... Oops. Oh. <laughs> that's the thing, isn't it? These ones, I'll be, that should be, that should be what it is. That should be, I think that's what I, I reckon it was, because I think that's probably there when I put my finger around it. And then that one should, so that one should be the negative. Well, why is it sparking? That's a jolly good question. Because it's trying to do a well, isn't it? That's, not, that's not promising. Because these is obviously linked, so it'd be a 24 volt. Mm. But then you should be able to hook. I mean, normally you can hook it to both. Unless we have to go with just the one battery. Maybe, maybe we can do that. Go, perhaps yeah. go back there on the same battery. Mm. Hopefully it'll give it to us if we do that. All right, yeah. let's try that. That's a, I suppose I should get up there in case I run somebody over. Oh, help. <laughs> no. Nothing? No. Because I think the, the problem is it's, because oh, it's uh, with it linked together like that being 24 volts, it's, but normally it must, well you've had the battery there before, so maybe this is how it used to work, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> um, I know, before it used to start, but it's been sitting for a little while, it's What's gone flat. <laughs> No. no. Sorry champ, not a thing. No, hang on. I'll change the other one as well then. Yeah, sorry buddy. Yeah. The actual little cab doesn't look too terrible, except for that seat's a bit in trouble. But yeah, nothing the seat cover won't cover up. <laughs> Nothing want to be in it. There's a little tiny bit of light at least now. No, if I think blow this starts pretty easy the bugger. I'm just wondering if there's no sort of like yeah. Where, start or some crazy thing is there. Where's that other battery from now? Promising. At least it started these new things. Yeah, no, she's, uh, like I said, mechanically she's pretty good. Mechanically yeah. she's very good. Really, this is a lot more economical than yeah. the bloody Isuzu's. Well, alright, it's a bit smaller.
I think we'll just get in the car and have a discussion so they can't hear us. <laughs> Did you bring your tick tick? Oh, yeah, it's right there. Jump in and we'll have a talk about it. Maybe we should have a look at the $15,000 truck that's around here somewhere as well and see what that looks like. Oh, I don't know. Mind you, if he lets us go and get it tested, well, then we'll know where we're at mechanically and economically and all the rest of it, won't we? Is it worth spending 400 bucks for the exercise? To go around the corner? Maybe we could go around and ask them. Should we go around and see the truck people? They probably already it didn't. It didn't have a yellow canary on it. Eat, drink, play and be merry, it says there. What the hell am I doing? Isn't it? <sighs> conflicted, that's what it is. I'm a conflicted individual. Well, after a nice relaxing lunch at the pub, not much deliberation. There's one vote against, one vote undecided. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Part of me thinks I should just see if I can get it tested and organised, but. I might have to get some armour oil before I show my wife because it would be an interesting exercise. But then maybe I'm just getting excited because I've got the crane and I just want to prove that it's actually a good idea instead of just still feeling like it wasn't the brightest thing I've ever done. Mm. I don't know. I mean, if all the trucks are $15,000 and you're selling it for six, you'd be kind of thinking maybe it's got issues. but. I don't know, maybe he just needs to get rid of it because he's got stuff going on. Just... See, the dilemma that goes on backwards and forwards. Because I mean, we could cut and shut the crane and stick it on a trailer, which was one of my plans. But then I was thinking, well, heck, it's such a cool crane. Maybe a truck would be good. But then you can put a bit more on it. Maybe we should get a bit bigger truck. Perhaps I'll get a bigger license, I think. I think maybe we should get a truck that's been maintained. That's what my gut's telling me. My brain's, my miserable brain and my pocket's going, oh, $6,000 instead of $15,000, that's a fucking good idea. And my gut's yelling out, don't be a dickhead. <laughs> so, as the police would say, I'm going on my gut feeling and I think I'm gonna go with, don't be a dickhead. From down here in the tummy region where it says, you know, what's that? Yes, a gut instinct tells me that that could be a really bad idea, so. I think we're gonna run with that. Still, anyway, that's 70% versus 30% and I guess that wins, so. There we are. That's a little bit boring, but there you go. The dilemmas you go through to try and get organized. There's no shortage of flat deck trucks to put the crane on, that's one good thing. Cause it's pretty hard to find a, a decent modern B truck that anybody wants to sell that's got a crane on it. So that was where my thought went with that idea. I thought, well, if I can get that crane, then I can buy a flat deck truck anyway, which was fine. And I was budgeting on selling some stuff to get a 15 to $20,000 truck, which would be quite nice. And then I saw this $6,000 truck and got myself all excited and thought, oh, I can do it now. But maybe, maybe I should just be patient and be sensible for once in my life. How would that be? That'd be a shock to everybody out there, wouldn't it, Mr. Sensible? Not me. Anyway, I'm sure the bees won't give a shit what they ride on as long as they get there safely, will they? I hope I'm not boring everybody with this dilemma. Ah.